first of all, thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for a really awesome movie, an awesome story, and a really awesome character with Ruth. Um, I, I found it interesting, you know, doing my research that you 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 describe this movie as a as a you know semi autobiography. Uh, how, how much I, mean, I spoke to Jessica, and I feel that that Ruth can be somebody that that you know a lot of young women can look up to and 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 you know learn from it. How much of Ruth uh, was you or or or, or what um, what mixtures of Ruth uh, or uh, did you do you take to to create the character? Um, yeah, there, you know, it, it, so much of it was pulled from my own life and, uh, Ruth was, is, is me and very much, very much me. And uh, I, I felt that, you know, if I felt that way as a young, as a young person, particularly a young woman, then to put it on screen, others must've felt that way as, as well. Um, I want to talk about the title. I think the title is fitting, and I think that's what Ruth is doing all the time. She's hollering. She's like, I want, I, yeah, right. I, I, that's the that's the, that's the that's the direction, the connection that I got with. You know, I want to, you know, I want people to 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 hear me out. How did the title come about? Yeah, that's a great question, and you're you're spot on, actually. Thank you. Uh, it has a dual meaning. One is a holler, which is a abbreviated version of hollow, mm -hmm. um, and I, that's sort of what is all over that region and community. And it's sort of an iconic word when you think of that region. And secondly, I view it as, as a battle cry, a holler, a yell, a battle cry for Ruth. Uh, I, know, I, talk, I want to talk a little bit about the casting. I think the casting is really good. Obviously, I also Jessica, I think, nailed it with, uh, with the character. Uh, how did she react when, when she saw the script and then you told her, so we're, we're going to deal with, 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 you know, with hardware, we're going to break stuff, we're going to be stealing stuff. I, I mean, to me, obviously, it's a really serious uh, subject. And, and obviously, we, we handle it with a lot of professional, professionalism, but it seems to me that backstage, it had to be a blast and a really fun, you know, just to shoot everything that, you know, that, that, that we saw in the movie. Yeah, I think, I mean, it was really hard. It was really harsh because we made the film in a blizzard and uh, every day we didn't know if we needed to, if production needed to go down or not because we were, we were fighting, we were fighting to make the film in the polar vortex. Uh, but Jessica, you know, was able to do lots of badass stuff in the movie and the power tools and breaking things and smashing the computer and all. I mean, she loved smashing the computer. She <laughs> loved, that was near the end of the shoot and it was very cathartic and she loved doing it. And we all loved watching her do it. It felt like, I think we all wanted to do that. Um, I've never smashed like a laptop off of a table like that in my life. And I don't know if a lot of us have. So we were all watching it and there was something really cathartic about watching her do that. And, you know, she gets to swing the ax and chop wood and, and operate the power tools. And she's doing all of that. She's really doing all of that. And she, uh, you know, uses the smaller axe, you know, and breaking the baler. I'm giving away so many, there's so many spoilers in this. Um, and, and so I think that was a lot of, a lot of fun. It was a very physically challenging role for her. And she was game to learn how to do all of those things. Don't, don't worry about this for us. I'll post the interview. After <laughs> I think I'll check all of them. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll post, I'll post the interview after it comes out. But I, I, you know, again, again, thank you for that that insight because that's really fun. I wanted to ask that question because I knew yeah. we we're gonna dive into it. Um, I enjoy those. Like you say, I enjoy all those things. That's what I wanted to talk about. It. I want to talk about a, a specific thing that I absolutely loved, and I was towards the beginning of the of the movie where um, his brother, just every Ruth's brother was telling, hey, you got into college and because of some stuff uh, he did. And, and Ruth, she wasn't really, you know, going with it. She wasn't having none of it. And, and I asked this question to Jessica, so I want to know your perspective. Was Ruth being stubborn or, or she was starting to prove something or maybe a little bit of both? It's a little bit of both. I think it's, it's she's scared to go. And I think her, it's, it's about her giving herself permission to have more and have a future and to leave feels like a betrayal. It's scary. She's going to leave everything she's ever known behind. And this is a very sheltered girl who has probably never been out of the state. And so, you know, to add to, or I mean, 
as far as that character's ever been is probably, you know, similar to my own upbringing when I was a, a young teenager and, and I'd maybe been a couple counties over and that's it. And so to leave uh, many states away or, you know, or to, to leave home and leave all she's ever known is, is really scary and also feels like a betrayal, you know, knowing you're going to be left here in these not great circumstances only to, to work so hard to get me away from it. Um, I think all of those play a role in why she closes the door on her own future. One final question, I'll let you go. Um, what, what, I think the, the more I want to word this is, what do you expect, not just girls, but everyone, anyone that watches this movie to take from it? I think young girls are going gonna, are gonna to relate more to it, you know, because they're, they're going to want to find their own, they're going to relate to Ruth and find their own path. But what do you expect, just anyone that watches this movie to relate to it? Um, I think they'll relate to all the universal human um, feelings and themes of empathy and compassion and heart in it, but I really hope that they look at Appalachia, where I'm from, and have a more empathetic portrait of it, a fuller portrait of it than what's in the media, and say, wow, look at how important it is for a store, someone like Nicole to be behind the camera and have someone out of Appalachia to actually get to tell that story. Um, and then you get a more nuanced and dare I say fun uh, experience when that happens, um, because all of Holler's not doom and gloom. You know, there there's mm -hmm. warmth and a sense of humor to it. That's it. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you for your time. Thank and you. again, really awesome movie, really cool story, and I absolutely love the way you wrote yourself into the the story. Thank you. Yeah, never again, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Hello.